Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. I'm the Paul Pluter, the Archie Luxury channel and Elite Broadcasting. And today guys, I want to say a very special thank you, very, very important, on the fridge, f196bbs.com, free speech for all. And I've got to tell you, these guys here have been really cool fans and viewers of the channel. Uh, so I want to make it clear, f196bbs.com, the last bastion of free speech. And I've actually got a request from these guys. Now the problem is, guys, i got to put it into a PC world. See, the world that we live in is no longer, how do I put this, it's no longer, uh, i got to be a bit PC, okay? Otherwise, you know, you get into trouble. Uh, hi Archie, can you please make a video with the title? <clears throat> I'm going to have to rephrase this into a PC world. Australian women are good for casual relationships, but make terrible wives. And then in the video, discuss with your YouTube friends which nationality is the best to marry as an Australian man. Once you confirm, I'll PayPal you. So so let's have a bit of a discussion on this because I had to put this into a PC. So what, what, what he's saying is, he's saying is that Western, I think he's talking about women in the Western world. Uh, they're okay to date casually. Um, but it's, it's kind of a, you know, it's a little bit sensitive. You wouldn't want to marry them. And i got to be honest with you. i got to be honest with you. I think that is a very good topic. And i got to tell you the truth. I used to think very much along those lines. I'd say, oh, they're hopeless. They're terrible. But i got to be honest with you. I think, uh, and I've, I've learned this as I've traveled, I think Australians... And Australian women can be really cool. They can be really cool. And I've got to be honest with you. Maybe I was a bit harsh. And maybe my failure to date these women meant that I became a bit bitter and twisted. But i got to be completely honest with you. I don't think skippy women are terrible or hopeless or, or, or shocking and I, I kind of think you know with marriage marriage is very much a partnership it's not you know it's not just having a husband who dictates violently or, 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 or abusively he dictates the rules it's much better to sort of be a partnership where you're in cohoots together and uh, you've got to sort of be on the same same hymn book because if you've got different goals and you want to be a very authoritarian boss uh, I don't know if that brings out the best in your staff or, or wife you know I think if you want to be a little tyrant um, that that may not be the best way. And I mean, in, in, as in many things there, it, it, you know, in life, the biggest, the biggest thing you can do for your own mental well-being, your own happiness, your own success, is to marry the right person. So I think, I think in many ways there, I think, look, there are some exceptionally good Australian women. There's some exceptionally good West, women from the Western world. You've, you've really got to 
uh, find the right person. And and I, and I and I think you know some of these women from these poorer countries, um, you you often think they may be more subservient, but that may not really be the case. They could be real nasty bitches down the track. So I think many, 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 many uh, men have this idea that marrying an Asian woman, for example, should be subservient, she'll do what I say, yada, yada. Well, it, nobody likes to be bossed around or treated like a piece of shit. No, 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 no. So I, I, I kind of think, you know, I kind of think that you have to really, no matter who you marry, where you, whether you marry an Australian woman or a an Asian or a uh, Eastern European, any 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 woman you marry, for starters, they're human. They're human beings. So they, n no human being likes to be treated uh, like an idiot and 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 micromanaged and just 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 treated badly and, I, and I, I don't really think a man in this day and age really wants to have a subservient slave i i think really you you've got to have somebody who um you know you can command them to do things but you really want them to respect you like you and love you as a person now, I, I must admit there, you know, that there is, there is some rumour that, you know, Western women can be very, very tough. And I, 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 I get that. You know, we've all got our own shtick. I think we hide behind our shtick as a means for coping with things. And I, I kind of think, you know, it's not always so black and white. Um, and, and I, I kind of think, you know, um, you could be, you could, you could really, instead of, you know, being so black and white, Western women suck, uh, Asian women are great, or Eastern European women are great, they're subservient. I think realistically there's good and bad in all of them. And I've, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, I think as soon as you realize that and start looking at the person underneath, you can hope to get a good relationship. And it's very important you're on the same hymn book. I mean, for example, say say you want a partner, a partner who what you really want to be filthy, stinking rich. Well, you know, there's a set course. You've both got to be prepared to work. You've both got to be prepared to invest, be frugal for the long run. You might have a partner who really just wants to have children. Well, their goals are different. So I think it's the big thing in finding compatible person is to work out what do you want to do? What is your aim? And, and I mean, the problem is, if you find someone who desperately wants to have children, but you don't want children, well, that's kind of a, that's kind of a, a disaster that can lead to a disaster. So I, I don't, I think, I think what you should do in, in, in order to find the perfect person for yourself, instead of saying they must be this or they must be that, is to really forgive some initial flaws and find someone you actually like. And you've got to work out what do you want. Do you want to have children? Do you want to be rich? Do you want, what do you, what is your goals? And I, I've got to be honest with you there. It's very easy to blame the other side for your own shortcomings. So, I, I got to be honest with you, I think there's some really good Aussie chicks, Australian women, there's some really good American women, there's some really good English women. There are some also some pretty nasty ones as well. I think you've got to find the right person and you've got to
define what goals do you want. Do you want to have children? Do you want to be rich? Do you want to uh, have, a, have a collection of Patek Philippe's? What do you want? And I, I think these criteria are very important. Uh, just like with religion, you, 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 you might be, you know, might be more agnostic. And if you marry someone who's deeply religious, this is going to cause trouble. Once the honeymoon lust wears off, then you're going to say, well, you're going to church, he just gives you the shits. So I, I think you've got to sing from the same hymn book. Woody Allen, he said, you finding the right person to marry has a huge, huge impact on you as, as your mental health and your own stability. So I I think I gotta be honest with you there. I think I think the stereotype that Aussie women that can be very nasty, I think I think I think that's wrong. I think that's that's more of an approach from men who are just um, they're not prepared to present themselves in the best light. They're not prepared to give it a try. You've got to be flexible. And I've got to be completely honest. I think I think if you are very rigid and you go into a relationship, you marry somebody who you want to be subservient in this, well, people don't want to really be treated like shit. They don't want to be micromanaged. They, they want a bit of independence. They want some three fought free speech that F, 196 BBS talks about that is what they want. Now, I, I, I can see, you know, there's many attractive women in other countries. And, and it, it's, it's also different cultures can, you know, opposites attract and different mentality. But it can also be divisive. So I've got to be honest with you there. I, I used to be a cynical bastard, but I think now... The longer I think of it, I think there's some good Aussie women. There's good women from all countries, and there's some nasty ones as well. You can't really stereotype and say all these are bad or all these are good. Um, so I, I think, I think to be honest with you, there, you've got to work out what are your goals and what do you want. And if you just basically say, well, I want somebody who is uh, subservient and does what the fuck I say, well, maybe that isn't the best type of a relationship to get into with that dynamic. Uh, it doesn't work if you're running a business, you treat your staff like shit, they're gonna get, they're gonna get funny and leave. That's what'll happen. And if you've got respect, if your staff respect you and actually like you and they really want to try their best, you're going to get better results than if you're an author authoritarian dictator who reads the riot act at one one so one little problem. So I I I really think you you know you, you, you get sometimes you get more flies with honey than with vinegar. So uh, I think I, I think I think there's good women everywhere. There's good Aussie women. Very loyal, hardworking. Uh, sometimes it can be a real plus to find someone in your own culture. You've got the same mentality. You've got the same uh, important things. Uh, like I admit, you know, many Australians, religion isn't so important. Uh, you've got, got culturally similar similar views on right and wrong. So I, I've got to be honest with you there. Um, I, I think, you know, I think there's many good women in the West, many, many good women in many countries. You've just got to find someone who, who you like and um, have similar goals and you, you walk, work towards the goal. And um, yeah, this is something I've learned over the years there. No, not many people like to be treated like shit and micromanage it doesn't work it um it's probably you know it, it's 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 the reality it's reality it doesn't work in the workplace doesn't work in a relationship i'm paul pluto this has been a paid review this is a, a video for my good friends f196bbs.com 
free speech for all. Free speech for all. Even these nasty wenches you're married to. Free speech, fuckers. So, there you go. That's a bit of thought. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and, uh, hey, maybe go and check out the website. And uh, tell me what you guys think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great video. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life.